Hey guys, so we have now started the omnivorous dilemma. And just from the start of the book, I can tell that it's probably going to be kind of an interesting book, especially for those who are interested in food and like cooking. Um, like myself, I enjoy cooking for my family and um, things like that. So the first one that I'm going to do is <clears throat> explorational and basically it's just the fact that I had no idea that so many different products um, that we eat have corn in them. Um, some things that the book mentions are things like, um, gosh, I'm like trying to think off the top of my head, but things like our beers and things like along those lines. And basically, even if it doesn't directly have, the item doesn't directly have corn in it, it will still somewhat have it because of how it is made. Um, <clears throat> this coincides for me with relational because I have a, more than one family friend who is allergic to corn. And I couldn't imagine being allergic to corn because everything, for what it seems, is everything has corn in it. Like, absolutely everything. And trying to find something that you can eat without corn would be horrible because here's this person who's, you know, trying to find different things and you do go down the list and one way or another, corn is going to be listed. Especially if you think back to how it is made, where it comes from, what are the different processes that go into it. Um, so some shape, way, or form, corn is going to be one of the ingredients in almost everything you eat. So, for example, her, the family friend I'm talking about, if she isn't careful and doesn't completely read through the ingredients and she accidentally ends up eating corn, whether, you know, it's a main thing or like a subsequent thing, um, it creates this very allergic reaction and she actually has to end up in the hospital. So having something like that would be abs just horrible and scary at the same time. My um, last topic will be hypothetical and just basically like what if we didn't have corn? Like what if that wasn't something that um, was available to us? How would that affect Affect how our different foods and products are made, the animals that eat corn, how would that affect them? Um, yeah, so those were my first thoughts when I first started reading The Omnivorous Dilemma, and I look forward to hearing all of your thoughts. Thanks.